Welcome everybody. This is uh, Fabriano in Aquarello 2020, last uh, day panel discussion, number six. And the topic today is how the emergency of virus has infected the world of art. That is a topic that, uh, we felt we had to afford it. Moderator today is Raul Shakaboti from India. Uh, pa uh, panelist participants are uh, Isabel Alusete from Spain, Lalita Roshinkorn from Switzerland, Ladan Orangi from Iran, Keiko Oshino from Japan, and Raksu Helminen from Finland. Thank you everybody for joining us and I uh, hope the audience have liked uh, our past panels also and um, we remind you that it, it was not our task to give you answer about the questions we propose but to give you points that you were um, able to think and to focus on and meditate about later on. And remember that the panels, all the panels, you can uh, see in the recorded version on YouTube in next days, soon after the festival. Thank you everybody for joining and I give the line to uh, moderator Raul Chakraborty and thank you Ra Raul for your very big job, not only with this panel, but with all the panels that you follow and gave information to. Go on. Thank you, Anna. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, as you know that uh, art is the most accurate indicator of the strength and mirror of a community. And in present context where uncertainty happens and social distancing occurred, we will need every aspect of the arts to get through and reveal once these tiring times are behind us. Today our topic of discussion is that how the emergency of COVID-19, the virus, has infected the art and vis-a-vis -vis artists. Before I introduce my team, uh, I would like to introduce myself. I am a self-taught artist from India, uh, practicing watercolor for the last 10 years. I am the uh, country leader of India, uh, India Fabriano Inacarello, and co-founder of In Watercolor India and Jumbish Creations Private Limited, which is into art technology. I would uh, request uh, Ladan to introduce yourself, please. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, good day. I'm uh, Ladana Orangi, an Iranian artist. I have AM in art and working as an instructor at university. I have about uh, 20 years experience in painting and urban art. Uh, that I have got several prizes for them. I had uh, more than 50 uh, solo and group exhibition in Iran and other country. Thank you. Thank you, Ladan. Isabel, please. Yes, okay. Hello, my friends. I am Isabel Alosete. I am representing the watercolorist from Spain in Fabriano in Aquarello. How many, many years ago? 10 years ago. Um, thank you very much for this uh, possibility in the world. Thank you, Fabriano Naquarello and the team. Raksu, please introduce yourself. Hi. Uh, thank you, Raul. I'm Raksu Helmin, a passionate watercolor artist and leader for Finland at Fabriano in Aquarello. I confess being addicted to this wonderful global event since I visited it for the first time four years ago. I did not study arts at the university, but languages, economics and marketing. However, art was always an important part of my life. And I finally started painting for 12 years ago with my art. I want to express my joy of life. So happy to be part of this artist community. Art connects oh in a wonderful oh way. Thank you. Well, do you hear me? And, and do you see me? Hello, Keiko. Uh, welcome uh, to our panel discussion. Yes, we are with the introduction. We are already started. So, uh, Dalita, could you please introduce yourself, please? 
Hello, my name is Lalita. I am Swiss Thai, and I was team leader for Switzerland for the past four years. I live in both countries, but now I am in Hua Hin, Thailand, since last October. I started painting since I was very young as a hobby, so I have painted with many different mediums. I have lived in more than 13 countries around the world in the past 63 years, and I have completed five books so far. I am now a watercolorist and a writer. I started my career in watercolor as botanical artist. My aim for botanical painting is for plant conservation and environmental protection. And my aim of painting watercolor now is giving back and passing on all that I have learned over the years. Thank you. Thank you, Lalita. Uh, before Keiko joined us, uh, let's start, continue with our uh, panel. Social distancing comes at a great price for both artists and audiences and viewers as well. The thought process of several people and countries is about to change and the myth and arrogance of many are about to be broken. A reality check is really on the cards. So I would like to invite Lalita uh, about her thought on what sort of changes will happen in art world by this virus. Lalita, please. Okay, so during this pandemic, when millions of people fall sick, we are obliged to think of basic necessities for survival. For our body, we need what? We need air, fresh air, water, and food. And for our mind, we need nature and art. And this is the time for reflection in order to prepare ourselves to face with the uncertainties that will come with the new normal. Everything in our life is not permanent. It is impermanent. So the new normal will become normal and we are going to have the new normal all the time. So we have to prepare ourselves. Uh, we see that now during this uh, time, art becomes more visual than physical. This means that we can appreciate art easier from our bedroom, from our home, and um, everything comes to your home. The world, the audience, your viewers, your clients, they all come to your home. To connect with the world, that you need two things that will ease you to connect with the world. One is the language, the ability to understand and to express yourself. And the second thing is the IT, like I learned from Rahu how to connect with the Zoom and all of this. So I have the opportunity to, to talk with you from, from, from all corners of the world. This is one thing. And the second thing, the, um, the second aspect that I would like to say is that crisis that we have now, crisis brings opportunity. We have to remember that. We open to the new innovation, new idea to cope with the newcomer, like what Anna Fabiano in Aguilero has created this platform for us. This is something which is completely new. We have not thought about this in 2019. And that's how we can connect with each other to learn, to share, and to networking. So we have to adapt, accept, adapt with innovation and vision. This transition, of course, needs a lot of courage and vision. We have to think outside the box because after COVID, things will not come back to what it was before. And the COVID-19 is going to stay for quite a long time. So we have to, to adapt to the new situation. Art always depends on economical aspects. So less people will buy paper, watercolor on paper. So you have to adapt your work art to what they need. I think that mainly I do three things every day. One is I concern about wellness. So maybe you can adapt your artwork to do facial masks or something. I have done it with local people here, local artists, and uh, we sell very well. Second thing is visual things like the IT, the internet. You can create a platform, you sell your art online or what, your workshop online. And the third thing, what do we do every day? I think that we eat. Everybody eats a lot and we produce food. So mm. we, you have to do something with the food, like packaging, use your artwork to do packaging for food or something like that. So anyway, I just would like to say the last word. 
to all of us artists that crisis is opportunity. Think positive. Thank you. Thank you, Lalita. Uh, that two very big word has come into the picture, that crisis is opportunity and share, adapt. Uh, now I am going to uh, Keiko. Uh, I would like to uh, request Keiko to introduce yourself first. And then uh, I have a question for you, like how does the COVID-19 shows us it is necessary to stop relying on the traditional space and conventions? Keiko, please. Yes. Um, hello, everyone. I am Keiko Hoshino. I am a Japanese leader. Um, I live whole my, my, whole my life um, as an artist. I graduated at the University of Art in Kyoto. I moved to Spain 30 years ago. Thank you. And the first question. Um, Please go ahead with your answer. Yes. Yes, now. Uh, the COVID-19 shows us a different situation. I think we have to learn to live with the virus a little by little. But I believe there are more important issues to concern because it could be the beginning of the discrimination with all meanings. To that, we were going to fight till now. But at the same time, we can also say it will be a hope. It is a new beginning of being together beyond the nation, the religions, and the gender difference. It is our opportunity and the proof. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, uh, Keiku. I have another question for you. Uh, that are all medium of art in the subject of virtual learning damaged equally in the quantine? For example, spatial mediums like sculpture and flat media like painting? Keiku, please. Yes. Um, I say in my case, I am a painter and a teacher, so I am having a very hard time now. I don't teach only watercolor technique. I believe the teaching is to find out what each student has, the best part of skill of each one, and the possibility of each. So I always try to teach how can we observe the subject and let them to think what is the meaning of painting for them. Many artists started online class, but for my teaching style, it is difficult for now. I think many artists and are going the same situation as painters, as sculptors. Thank you. Thank you, Keiko, uh, for your uh valuable comments uh, as I, we can found that there are challenges and there would be challenges for every period of time and we need to cope up we need to adapt we need to start accepting that uh, these changes is going to happen and uh, for the next uh, uh, process we, we i would like to invite roksu to uh, share her thought on how artists can offer hope among the covid 19 crisis Roxu, please. Thank you, Raoul. This is a new kind of global crisis and we should together find creative solutions how to get out of this. It possibly even stronger than before. Uh, we all know art is a powerful tool. Each artist has a need to express himself and we all have our unique voice. Expressing our feelings, we can comfort others who feel the same way. We can inspire and we can open new perspectives. This creates hope. We can also paint hope and joy. 
humor is a wonderful tool as well. I would love to see more of it, especially now. Positive thinking is the key. Keeping that sparkle of hope and creativity alive. It's extremely important for all of us. Despite of social distancing, we can still stay connected and also find new creative solutions for future through internet. Art inspires and can show there's so much in life to be grateful for. Um, and as soon as possible, artists uh, should start offering physical exhibitions and workshops again. We know creativity is a powerful tool and a blessing for all, for those who create and for those who enjoy seeing the results. Uh, as to art communities, we should support each other and encourage those who lost, lost their hope. We can already start planning the time after the crisis. It's not too late and it's not too early. I think it's, it's very actual now. I have already noticed that the crisis uh, brought us artists closer, locally and globally. Supporting and sharing creates hope. So my message is, let's stay creative and connected. Thank you. Thank you, Roxu. Uh, it's a wonderful uh, way of uh, approach to the world with the current changes. Uh, I want to ask um, Ladan uh, that uh, as an artist, what are the challenges and its impact on art during this epitome? Ladan, please. Put your sound on, please, Ladan. Put your sound on. Yeah, thank you. Since the coronavirus appeared, uh, there are many unknowns that artists face. Uh, some challenges like widespread cancellation of in-person events, financial problems, social distancing, uh, self-isolation, diseases and the fear of death, and so on, affect many artists. Uh, all of these influence art and art business to guide um, artists to find a solution. Bringing people closer together, comforting, mm -hmm. inspiring and sharing is the power of art which become more obvious during this epidemic. Because many things uh, vary around all the world, artists change their uh, perspective and um, uh, approaches on subjects, colors, uh, composition, and so on. Art uh, has been flourished uh, throughout this uh, quarantine. Artists uh, challenge uh, themselves to complete uh, their art about current affairs or things uh, happening around them. Uh, the shortage, for example, the shortage and the hoarding of some material cause recreating classic work uh, using home objects like toilet paper and mask. Possibility of uh, infecting pets by uh, their owners cause artists make a series of comic and illustration on wider nature. Uh, some art pieces give the people a positive emotion and impact uh, who uh, is in fear and disease, uh, uh, fear of uh, death. Self-isolation and the lack of access to wildlife uh, and nature pushing the art to emphasize the importance of environment. Fundamental rethinking of art uh, presentation and art education is another challenge that artists face. Uh, as, an, as a result, uh, they take virtual space seriously. Um, the artworks uh, reflect the irony of lockdown in the world and show us how to be grateful and uh, 
more sensitive uh, to those around us. Uh, including family, people, environment, and uh, animals. What happened during this uh, time was a challenge for artists and all this effect on the subject and approaches of art. At the end, I want to quote uh, Picasso. After the liberation of France, uh, he said, I didn't paint the war, but uh, there is uh, but there is no doubt the war was in my picture. Like the impact of coronavirus itself, touching some people mildly, uh, others destructively, the effect of a world of illness and lockdown on individuals, artists, and galleries is diverse, but memorable work are emerging. Thank you. Thank you, Ladan. Uh, with the interesting uh, findings that uh, sharing, accepting, again, uh, these words are coming more for frequent. Uh, with the same note, uh, I want to ask um, Raksu that how could others support artists and arts during COVID-19? Because we need support, because a support system needs to build uh, behind the artist to move on, to get out of this situation. So Raksu, could you please share your thoughts on this? Thank you, Raul. Actually, not all artists are in the same situation. Some are professionals whose income uh, depends more on physical workshops and exhibiting possibilities. Some artists have further income sources. But in fact, anyone can support artists. For instance, uh, when you need a present for the birthday or anniversary, graduation, whatever, or for yourself because you are worth it. Don't go to a shopping mall. Check what your local artists have to offer. Uh, and why not start a small art collection for your child or grandchild? A collection that grows every year. It will be remembered and valued. Most artists are also ready to create something special based on your individual wish. Anyone can support his or her favorite artist by giving the artist a commission. Uh, in some countries, it's also possible to rent a painting at a small monthly fee. This is a good option now that the financial situation might be difficult for buyers as well. Enough drops make an ocean. If you happen to be a gallery owner, uh, why not open the possibility to artists to exhibit online on your gallery website until physical exhibitions are possible again? This would, would be a great opportunity for the gallery owner and for the artist. Uh, I also believe if visual artists and local businesses would be better connected, they would find new ways to cooperate to create a win-win situation. This requires some creative brainstorming though. Uh, let's admit many artists hate marketing themselves, but the fact is visibility is important. There are people and businesses out there who could support artists more if they would know them. So my message to all artists, stay creative and stay connected. Thank you. Thank you, Raksu. Mm, with a lot of hope, again, uh, I want to ask uh, again to Ladan that what kind of challenges uh, do you face as an art teacher and art instructor because they are the pillar of art who are continuously nurturing uh, artists and art supporting artists when uh, just what are the challenges as an art instructor when we are far away from our student physically ladan yes yeah uh, because of self-isolation Artists uh, um, 
our teachers and students bring their classes and practices online. Me as a teacher had some challenges. Uh, for instance, having no internet or disconnect from virtual space that causes students uh, miss their uh, classes, I think um, uh, was, uh, was one of the uh, challenges that uh, I have. Uh, I think uh, the biggest challenge I think the biggest challenge arises when classes are practical, not uh, theoretical. It's hard to work, especially for beginner, uh, how to advance their uh, skill without the presence of uh, a teacher who constantly sees and uh, corrects them. Uh, students and instructors are confronting uh, the challenge of working alone uh, together to produce and evaluate artwork uh, in virtual space. In addition, uh, the loss of face-to-face -face, uh, intimacy is more important for me. I hope to see you all and my students uh, in person in near future. Uh, and a special thanks uh, to Anna and uh, her strong team to organize this festival uh, and uh, love to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Ladan. Thank you, Ladan, for your uh, acceptance, your gratitude. Uh, yes, we are here to support each other. We are here to stand for each other. Uh, that is for sure. So my, uh, this is very interesting anyway. We don't want to close this session, uh, but we need to. Uh, I'm going to uh, ask uh, Isabel, how do you predict the future of art? Uh, Isabel uh, needs to share her perspective on this question that how do you predict the future of art? Isabel, please. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Raul. Um, for me, this pandemic, uh, that forces us to confinement has brought new experience. I have searched my memories. I enjoy my family and also I organize my path of more than 30 years with watercolor, traveling and sharing with you. It has been positive. I have recovered ways of creating that I haven't practiced in a long time. Bigger painting, other new efforts, other tools. I think that ways great change about as in the way of understanding are more creativity, movements will appear because we are confined, we have more desire to create, but when we cannot move, everything will change. We will have to think about cooperation, about art with affection, global and that comes from the hair. We will share thanks to the audiovisual media. Millions of people are already doing it. We can see Tal get into the house of others. I think there will be a total transformation and creative explosion. It will change the way of being together and of inspiration without leaving home, without countries, without borders, with only one language they imagine. For now and until a vaccine is full, we will be on the balcony. I want to thank Fabriano and Aquarello, the organizing team for so much work because you keep us alive and full of hope. I love you. Thank, Thank you, you, Isabel, uh, for your uh, kind words and uh, support. Uh, 
after end of this uh, entire panel discussion, uh, we can come up with few points which are needs to be like on our journey uh, that will show us the direction, show us the path. Uh, that is, our artists around the world uh, are adapting to this shutdown by swapping physical performance spaces for mm -hmm. virtual ones. Artists are finding creative ways to keep people connected, which we have discussed during this, keep people connected and sh share their content, share their art during this pandemic that keeps us apart. And in this area of social distancing, this is, we need to accept, this is a social distancing happens during this situation. Millions of artists around the world have found already creative ways to reach people virtually. So I want to conclude this session with this note that be connected, share, and be local. Grabbing the opportunity is the another form of uh, getting things done, standing united, and always come up with the hope and joy and spread your happiness with your art. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for being with us. Thank you, Anna, and thank you all the leaders who are spending and give their precious time with us. So thank you, thank you very much. We are all together, we are Fabriano. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank, thank you. Thank you, see you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, bye. <laughs> <laughs>